Anytime, you know, like women should be honest about this. Like, and I guess they are, because she used to be married to um, uh, uh, Safari used to be married to Erica Mena. Erica Mena is highly disgruntled. Like, she gave this guy her youth. She gave him a couple of kids. And after a couple of kids, Safari dipped on her. And if you ever go to Safari's page, this nigga look like he's living the most fabulous life, nigga. You feel what I'm saying? What's his name? I am Safari. Yeah, that nigga. Oh, I think it's just Safari at this point. This boy look like he's allergic to a shirt. He, you know what I mean? He's doing push-ups, pull-ups, just chilling. He got his new girl. Let me see if I can find his new girl. I think this is him with, is this the Winnie girl? He on vacation with new girls every day. Look, he's still doing his dances like he was with Nicki Minaj. Yeah, he's still doing all that. You feel me? And I ain't gonna lie. My boy looks so stress-free. I don't see a wrinkle in his forehead. I mean, the hairline's still a little bit, you know, it's hanging on there. But still, the beard looking good, nothing too gray. Boy in good shape, still got the jewelry. Like, yo, the boy been looking stressed. He looking blessed. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, let me tell you this. Yo, you never seen the worst of a woman till a woman start getting down bad. She's falling off and you're prospering. Nigga look like he's glowing. Pause. Bro, she don't like that shit. She don't like that shit at all. She don't like that shit, my nigga. Hold on. I look up his, girl, his new girlfriend. Safari new girlfriend. <laughs> she don't like that shit at all, gang. His new girlfriend is this right here. Kim Bella Matos. <laughs> Kim Bella Matos. I don't even know who that is. But you know, you know, you know my boy uh, 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 stayed with a Spanish ting. You feel me? His new girl looking, looking, god damn, look like she just got off of Young Miami's, uh, not Young Miami, I mean a Dr. Miami's thing. God damn. Holy. This is, <laughs> you know, this is how his new ting looking. Like she looked like, Shorty looked like a toothache. Man, she looked like a wisdom tooth. Holy. Yo, she looked plump. God damn. Now, 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 now. We got to be honest. <laughs> we got to be honest here, chat. Uh, uh, hold on. That's his current. His ex? Yeah, she did give him two beautiful show. Oh, no, no, no. Well, no, two beautiful kids. But trust me. That nigga hit the eject button as soon as she stopped looking. She started mm. looking like this. <sighs> what was the question? <laughs> Joel Santana. What? You were with him. Joel Santana? I'm asking you a simple question. Oh my God, that's my girl Kim Bella's man. It's a yes or no. No. Okay. <laughs> oh. His ex? His current. That boy's a dog, man. Now, here's the thing. Because he gave her two kids, and apparently somehow he finessed it. I don't know how he getting money, but, you know, apparently, no. Actually, he's a reality TV star. Like, you know what I mean? He's parlayed that. He probably got some, probably still getting a couple points on, you know, uh, uh, some publishing, hopefully, on Nikki's songs. He's doing good. Boy, probably, man, he probably, he probably making some cool, you know, maybe multiple six, fig uh, six figures or definitely maybe a, maybe a million a year, two million, whatever. Anyway, the nigga blessed, man. The nigga millionaire, right? Reality TV time is done for her now. There ain't no market for. Yeah, 36, and you don't look like. Now, if, now here's the difference. If you look like Drea, you're good. But if you're not aging like Drea, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, damn. This, this new chick look thick in a motherfucker. God damn. <laughs> Yo, Sexy Red better make a, a remix. That nigga Safari finna sing it. Fuck my baby mama. Holy. <laughs> yeah, that nigga. Yo, that nigga dip. What the fuck? Are these real? Anyway, okay, anyway. Essentially, what happened is that every time, every time Erica Mena see this nigga Safari having a good time, she don't like that shit, nigga. She don't like that. So anyway, she seen that nigga having a good time. And she decided to fuck it up. <laughs> Look at this shit. <laughs> Guys get scammed like I did <laughs> by this waste man overnight wannabe prophet. This individual has no idea that his children has have actually started school. Yeah, 
Your daughter is officially in pre-K and started yesterday. And here I am feeling guilty because I wasn't there due to work. And while I'm feeling guilty, motherfuckers is out here trying to make the world believe that they actually have a charity because they care about other people's children. How can you care about anybody else's children when you don't even care about your own? You miss out on birthdays by choice. You miss out on Christmas by choice. All because you think missing out in their lives makes me suffer. Wake up call. So before, I could fill in for you at any time and I've proven that. But your non-existence in my children's life does not make me miserable. It actually has helped me progress so much. But now you're on the internet playing with my kids because you don't even do for them unless it's something that's taken out of your little measly child support. I gotta sit back and watch my kids literally suffer already as it is because you're their daddy. While you play with other people's children and you don't even notice that your daughter has started school yesterday and you- Yo, the hurt. Oh my God. Yo, let me tell you this, man. I'm glad social media wasn't around when, when during my mama's time. Because I'd I be embarrassed as a motherfucker. I grew up and I see my mama just like on online going off on my daddy. Now, I ain't going to lie. Uh, 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 their situation is kind of similar to like my mom. Well, uh, my, my mom was a teacher. My dad was a principal. They were married for a while. And then um, they divorced. Right? But I could imagine at times my mom was probably like, that nigga ain't shit. But damn, man. The hurt, bruh. The hurt. I kind of I, I understand what's going on with you, though, uh, Erica Mena. I, I, I sympathize with you. And I'm going to talk to my man, Safari. He needs to shape up. You feel me? Because here's, here's what I really think. And let me get the kids out of the way. I think Safari just don't want to deal with this chick, bro. I don't know what it is about her. I think sometimes women lack the accountability to realize. Again, I'm not saying it's validated him not taking care of his children if he's not. But, man, there is too many examples on reality TV shows or not. Sis, the problem might be you. The nigga look like he's down to do anything to get away from you. The nigga got a new girl. The nigga, the nigga went to another country. That nigga's in Jamaica somewhere, nigga. That nigga's like climbing Ultra or some. He's, he's in Dunn's River. Like, that nigga don't want to be nowhere near you. Now, if it was just one guy and he was just notable, a, a bum-ass baby daddy, I'd be like, he is him. But if I had to make this call, because you are bringing us in the group chat, because really this should be your business, but you brought us in the group chat so we could comment. I got to say the common denominator, and this is going to be the same thing when we get to the sweetie thing. The common denominator is the person who can't get along with nobody they're with. And I got to say, unfortunately, Erica, I think that's you. Probably could have been the parent to fill in the void and at least made it so she had one of us in the building for that big moment. Don't be scam, y'all. No way in hell this man cares about other people's children when he doesn't even acknowledge the existence of his own. And I'm going to just leave it right there because this man loves to run to the police and claim that I'm bullying him. So. Real nigga. <laughs> You're a real ass nigga. Yo, yo, why do women say that shit? I, I really have a genuine question. Yo, put it like this. You see, if this was back in the day in Jamaica, if when, when y'all started doing y'all toxic shit, this is how Jamaica back in the day used to be. Yeah, they ain't calling no cops. The niggas going straight backhand your ass. But now you can't even argue with the woman. You got to call. Like, if, if a woman start getting toxic, start bullying you, that nigga's trying to live his best life. You got no other choice. We'll leave it at that. But don't be scammed and don't be fooled. Because literally, my kids go months and months and months at a time without this man. Even yeah, me and White House right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this nigga out to make all some make a wish uh, program shit. Yo, this nigga Safari ain't shit, <laughs> but that's my nigga though. <laughs> Kingston, you know. What, what? And, um, yeah, we giving back. 
you see we every time i come out here it's like yeah we you know put money in people's hands and things like that but i want to do something bigger yeah and better yeah you know because i'll be pop pop up and i always you know hand money. smart idea with tucking the chains good job my brother money out but i want to do something bigger and better so you're gonna be a part of it let me know all right yeah me and white house right now that's my new purpose i want to start giving back more you know yeah so far i probably met this kid about 25 minutes before this video like what's the problem <laughs> I don't, I don't know why, lady. This trip is just making me seeing things different. <laughs> Yo, Safari know what he's doing. He fucking with his baby mama. Because here's the thing. Yo, yo, y'all chicks better go work on getting a stepdaddy, man. I'm sorry. Like, hey, hey, y'all got to get a stepdaddy. This is some 6 9 shit, though. 6 9 in, six, nine in Dominican Republic holding up 10 other niggas' kids. Like, oh, man, these are such beautiful kids. They deserve the world. Like, yo, we got to really invest in our kids' future. Yo, his baby mamas be swinging, punching in the room, like swinging in the air to be like, yo, yo, take care of your kids. <laughs> yo, I'm not laughing at, at, at niggas being deadbeats, but like, bruv, yo, y for y'all women, I'm going to keep it up being with you. If you pick a nigga that's a deadbeat, that's your fault, man. Man, stop, let's stop with this shit, man. Yo, chicks. Yo, y'all should have an intense vetting process before you have a baby with a man. You know what's going to happen. If y'all don't work out, you got to keep them kids. So if y'all not vetting th th this nigga, and not that he's in love with you, because I think that's what most people vet a guy with. Do I love him or not? No. Is this person a reliable parent that even if we don't work out in a relationship, they will be there that you don't feel like you're alone if that's her story. Now, granted, you also got to vet these stories because, Erica, I don't know you from a can of paint, but I do know a lot of women who they'll just lie about some shit because really they just want to they want to have control over the man whereabouts. Right. So they'll use the kid. Oh, you why you ain't come so and so for your daughters, blah, 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 or your sons, blah, blah, blah. They really just want to keep the nigga on a string and they keep the nigga on a string either by dragging him to court all the time, child support or restricting access to their kids. So I don't know that full situation, and I do not want to speak about that. So all I'm going to just say, I think women need to vet their baby daddies a little bit better. Pick a responsible parent, not just a nigga you're in love with. And also, you know, we have to vet the story to see if, hey, are, are you using some of this propaganda about this nigga not being there? Um, because, by the way, as much as whatever he's saying, this is work for Safari, right? Like, this is... Him trying to start whatever, like, who knows his occupation? Like, this is somewhat of a business move. So he's trying to work, right? He's trying to start a mission or whatever. Probably trying to get government funded. Whatever he can. Yeah, just like how you work. So um, we just got to vet the stories. And obviously, truthfully, truth be told, too, if, if Safari is a deadbeat, I'm going to be honest, that's not dope. You know what I mean? Like, shit, I, you know, like, and this is just where I draw the line on it. Like I, I've told six nine, like yo, yo six, bro, you, you grab yo, yo, you playing daddy to like this Rachel chick's kid, bro, like yo, yo, you know you got like other kids, and and he he would tell me, I should I, I brought it up on the interview, and and he told me directly, say, oh, act, bro, the mom don't want me to have no contact with a kid unless she gets to control the contact. She want to control everything. She want to be the boss of how it could be a parent, and, and and for him, he said, nah, I don't want to do that. I don't want nobody being, I don't want. The, the the other parent being a boss of how I could be a parent. Yeah, that's his prerogative. Anyway. All right, man. Erica, I don't know. Take the nigga back to court if you're that all happy. Take it back to court and go get full custody or some shit. And try to get more money even though I don't think that'll work. But let's see. Uh, did y'all hear the news? Did you hear the news, people? And...